Hello everyone, this is Steve from stevesanella.com. How are you today? So this video is a little bit different. A little different for me. I am on my way to go do something that I haven't done in years. And I haven't done it because of my anxiety, because of the anxiety attacks and the panic attacks and the fear. TH, here we are. <laughs> Pull your tooth out. I've avoided it for, for years and years. And today that ends. Today I am... Boy, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> sucking it up. And I am going... to the dentist. I have not been to the dentist in, I honestly couldn't even venture a guess as to how many years it's been since I've gone to a dentist. There's a lot of things that I've avoided because of my anxiety. And it's kind of embarrassing. I'm literally in the car driving over to the dentist's office now. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a little, I'm feeling a little off here. But, so how am I gonna manage it when I'm in there? My plan is this. I'm going to use three different types of tools that I believe are going to help. So the first one is my breathing. Practicing meditation, a focused breathing, is, is, is a way to develop a habit for your body to start to become more accustomed to the feeling of relaxing while you're doing your deep breathing, it becomes a bit of a habit. So I'm going to use my breathing meditation while I'm in the chair to help keep my body relaxed, to keep from, from tensing up, which will just add to the anxiety and the worry. And I'm also going to try a kindness meditation. And if you don't know anything about a kindness meditation, essentially what you do is, while you're in a meditative state, you picture other people and you send them the feeling of love, of kindness, of compassion, so the third thing that I'm going to work on doing is, is just a, a mindfulness practice of being in the moment. I'm going to use the physical senses that I have to feel the material of the chair as I'm sitting there to, to internalize my focus, to you know return to the body, to just kind of take it all in, to be in the moment while I'm there. So those are my, my three things. Did I do two, three? Breathing meditation, kindness meditation, and mindfulness. Just being present and being more aware. So I'm pulling in here. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> ah. Well, no better time like the present. Let's get this done. I'm going to take this with me. Doo -doo -doo. Give it a shot here. You'll be a dentist. You have a talent for causing things. Hey. probably another 10 minutes. Oh, okay. No, I can't. Those two have to have Yeah, this is just for the braces. Yes. <laughs> I'm a dentist and a sick soul. Say ah. Oh. All right, so I just got through at the dentist and uh, it went pretty well. I tried the three different approaches, the three different tools in managing my stress and anxiety while I was in there. And I'll tell you what worked and what didn't. First, I'll start off with what didn't work. What didn't work for me was, <laughs> and this is gonna sound funny, but the kindness meditation. And here's where I struggled with that. Every time that they would poke me I would kind of tense and I would envision like sending this <laughs> frustration and anger at that person. And I said, you know what, that's probably not what we want to do here. 
What did work for me was a combination of the other two, the breathing meditation and the mindfulness. I'm not terribly surprised by this because these are two things that I practice quite a bit in my daily life. And I'll tell you, I believe one of the reasons why these were effective for me was because I practice them all the time. And I try to stress this to people as much as I can. Meditation, mindfulness, being consciously aware, these are skills that you have to develop. They are tools that work, that help adjust how you process information, how you think. Your thinking then dictates your emotional state. These are skills like everything else. They have to be learned. They have to be developed. You have to um, work on getting more proficient at these. When I practice my meditation, I set that baseline of feeling like I can get relaxed. Many times while I was just in that chair having the, the, the poking and prodding done, as I turned my attention inward as, inward, as I took a breath, I realized how tight I was. My shoulders, my back, my legs, everything was tense. And I would recognize that and I was able to then breathe through and relax and have that tension dissipate. Another thing that I did, and this is probably one of the bigger aspects that I think it's important for people to understand in dealing with anxiety, is for most people that I know who struggle with anxiety, myself included, it is the, the stress, the worry, and the fear of having someone find out. When I filled out my paperwork, they asked, there's a question in there on my medical history and everything about mental disorders. And I, I marked it and I said, I suffer from anxiety. And I told them, this is what happens to me. This is how I start to feel uncomfortable. And then they start asking, are you okay? Are you comfortable? Are we, are we all right to do this? And it becomes a much more uh, open process. And I'm not worried about what if I start sweating and what are they going to think and how am I going to react and all of that kind of in your head, back and forth thinking that we do. So being open and honest, putting your cards out on the table, that is a huge positive way to make sure that you're not getting trapped in your head. These skills will help you over time just like they helped me. All right, that's it. I gotta head back to the office and get some work done. If you have any questions, do me a favor, did this help at all? I know this is a bit of a different video. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts. Do you have issues? Share in the comments section below. What is it that you're still afraid of that you'd like to try to overcome? Is there something um, that, you wanna, that you wanna face? Share it with us. Let's talk about it. Let's get some open lines of communication going. If you have any questions, my email, as always, steve at stevezanella.com. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to keep in touch with all of you. All right, that's it for me. Until we talk again, and we will talk again, I hope you have an amazing day. When I was younger, just a bad little kid, my mama noticed funny things I did.